thanks for joining us for today's screencast. We're going to be going over different calendar type options for your rental products. And we'll start with just the regular calendar. So I just wanted to show that. So we're on the product page, and this is just the default setup. So you'll just have a from calendar and a to calendar. Your customer chooses those dates, and then they can rent the product. So that's just the default. But what we're going to do is dig into the calendar options. Now you'll find these in catalog products, and then either you add a new product or edit an existing product. So I'm editing the bike that we are looking at on the customer side. And what we see here is the product use time setting. And right now it has times disabled. So let's just see what these different options look like real quick. So first we'll do use times no grid, save the product. And we'll refresh the customer side to see how that looks. All right, so the page looks very similar, but notice that when you go to choose the dates now, you are presented with the time of day options. These time of day options are drawn from the store open and store closed times. You can also set those up. All right, so that's the time of day. Now let's also just make a quick change and see what it looks like with use grid. So we'll save that and go ahead and refresh our page. All right, so you can see the results. We have now a grid down here. So let's choose a same day rental. We'll go ahead and rent from August 28th or August 29th here. And then we'll go to the same day, but a different time. So now you see that little grid fills in down there, and we're doing an hourly based rental. So that's what the grid means. I go down and edit and set our product now to a fixed date rental. So on your product under rental, you'll want to expand that, make it a drop down, and look for the fixed rental length setting. So we'll set it as a four day and an eight day rental. And then for the fixed selection type, we'll go ahead and change that to a drop down. And then we'll save it. Then we'll refresh the product page. Okay, so you can see the product page now. We have a fixed date based rental, and we'll set four days, and then your customer is only going to select the start date. They will not select the end date, and it will show the little colors for how long the rental length is. So that's what a uh, fixed date rental means. Now there's another option for that that we'll go ahead and show, and that would be a fixed date rental but your customer actually doesn't have to select any date. It's just going to select the first available date. So in order to enable that, we'll again go to the rental options on our product. And there's a setting for hiding the start date. So let's search for that real quick. OK, so we'll set that to yes and save it, and then check how it looks on our product page. All right, so now we can see the product page, and no longer does the customer select a start date. All they do is select their rental link. And the rental date that will be selected is the next available date from today. So currently that's August 28th, and all the customer has to do is select rent, and it will be added to their rental cart. So I appreciate you joining us for the calendar types. Hopefully that will help you with your setup. We do want to just show, I just want to show one more thing here under rental settings. You just want to realize that your calendar type, if you just want all your products to use the same options, instead of doing it by product, you can of course do that globally. That's in rentals, settings, and you can see the same options here that we are setting by product. So you'll just want to set those globally. And then if a few products vary, like you want to change a few individually to be different calendar types, you can do that by product by product as well. So again, thanks for joining us. If you have uh, questions, please let us know. You can check out our other videos for more training, as well as our website and YouTube channel. Thank you.